I'm kind of sad because I just spent the last 20 minutes going through this level and I didn't hit the record button. But yes, uh, do it. No! No! Okay, so, um, um, the Red Maiden's supposed to tell you something there, and I'm really sad. Okay, at least we still have to do this stuff. Dude, I just spent the last half hour commentating over a game. And I, at this point, I actually was talking to myself. This isn't that long of a level. Man. Oh. I am like almost depressed now. Oh man. If you go the wrong way there, you have to start at the beginning of the uh, area. Make it through this. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna spend longer now than I did then, is it? Yeah, it's probably gonna be it. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to get the Pegasus boots. Oh crap. Oh jeez, I forgot these are over here. There's uh, Pegasus boots. These are important for this level, especially. Fifty-first gem is right there. I have some I can pick that up. Man, I am like sad. Because I think I did a decent job commentating as well. But here, these are re-deads, basically. Uh, when you kill them, they go to the Dark World. You can also spin the control stick and press B to do a spin attack as well, if you so desire. Um, you want to do it there, because if you do it... On, I mean, you don't have to exactly do it there, but, um, it's a good idea to do it there. Also, there's a moon pearl. There's some other, uh, I guess, re-dead mummies over kind of in the top right corner. Man, I am, like, sad. I am, you guys are probably tired of me saying I am sad. I don't care. I have a reason to be sad at this point. And it's not because I ran out of chocolate. And I'm almost dead again. Last time I played the, a few minutes, I lost like five fairies in this level at least. Gosh. How am I going to do this? I don't know why I was deciding to spin it, why I didn't just hold B. Of course. Oh my gosh. Man! So, like, I'm so sad, because, you know, when I get done with the level, I'm looking, it's like, cool. You know, it's like, I press it to stop recording. And it starts uh, recording, it's like, what? Oh, and then it's like, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that sand pit over to the right is where we need to go, but we can't go over there at the moment. We need to do something else first. Like this. This is important. Um, there we go. I don't know, I'm gonna try to not be too down in the dumps, because being down 
and being in the dumps at once is very not nice. It's very, it's very peculiar. But this isn't that long of a level. It's like 15 to 20 minutes, which at this point is the normal level length. So, you know, um, yeah, get used to it. Um, <laughs> You're gonna do it a lot. Um, over in these sides, I thought there was a heart container, but I guess not. Also, there's an upgrade fairy in the middle. So, uh, yeah, if you just want to do that, uh, um, you, you can just do that. I don't care what you do. Sorry I'm skipping through text. Oh, excuse me. Now we can run over holes. And oh my gosh, did we sparkle when we, like, ran? That was funny, kind of. Um, the video I watched to go through this level... They had to step on the switch. You don't have to step on the switch. You can just do that. For whatever reason, it stops you moving right there. I have no idea how it does that. It actually puts you out of formation as well. So I am kind of wondering about that. Whoa. Oh. Okay, it didn't matter that I missed that in the first run. Jeez. Man, that thing is like a vortex, and it sucks you in, and it sucks. Also, I have no idea where the link is. There it is. What? I hate those things. Um, you want to do something like that? This is the second checkpoint area. These are the Zunas. The Zanas, some weird stuff like that. These holes down here mark where the holes are above. So, um, I guess if you want to know in advance to, uh... Man, are you kidding me? I did not do that. I did not do that, man. Man, oh man. Depression. I'm ready. Depression. We're playing Spongebob. That's a good one right there. The Spongebob movie game, that was a good game. I liked it. What's 100 Force Gems gonna do? There's 100 Force Gems up here. But this Cheap Cheap is in the way, so... Oh, you do want to go down here, though, because this is the way to advance. Game Boy Advance. SP. That's a good one. I have one. I can show it to you, but not right now. We're kind of in the middle of a video. Yeah, this is an, an, an annoying part of the game. Because you most likely will fall down there a lot. Multiple times, you know, that works too. Oh man, how unlucky can you get? Also, when it gets to the point where these, uh, like, sand hole things are not near this cave, uh, over by there. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? They, they, they killed me. I didn't die because I fell in the sand, but they killed me. They, they just killed me. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is like the third time I've died. Um, and then in here, there's just a, four sh a few forge guns. You gotta go through a maze, though. Man! Man, oh man. Oh, cool, it kept me there. Yeah, there's that. We're actually almost there. Also, it got rid of the, uh, of the, uh, 
I don't remember which way to go here. I'll go this way, I guess. Cool. Okay, do what, baloney? Oh. oh my gosh, really? Man! Okay, so, uh... <gasps> I find it ironic that I'm having more trouble the second time around, but uh, down this hole, there is uh, there is hundred force gems, and this guy he tells you to go west from here. You must take uniform steps and move slowly. Uniform means to go at means to go at once, like all at once. So you gotta do it like that, and you gotta move slowly. Actually, I don't know if you have to move slowly. But you kind of have to do it like this. Here, you just pick these up to do that. I'm not sure what this room is for. Oh, never mind. Now I know why. No! I fell down, down, down. I didn't fall last time. No. Um, but here, we're going to do another one of these things. No! No! Uh, no! No, what? Oh my gosh! Game! I don't even know where purple is. Oh, that's a fair position. But, uh, when you do that, it gets rid of the vortex. Just go down in this one, this hole here. No. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is that one. You know, fall down here. It's like, oh, I'm dying. No, you're not dying. You want to do this. Am I really gonna have to get the force gems from Shadow Link to win this? That's gonna make me kind of sad. And then here, you just wanna go up. Nope, okay, never mind. Uh. Yeah, sorry, this is like really crappy commentary. I don't know. Um, but here's the Shadow Link battle. There are two in this world, I guess. One in this level, one in the next level. Um, but yeah, for this, you can't just run into him like this. I thought you could. I'm gonna be sad if you're not green Link. Well, you're not green Link! Before you were green Link, man. Oh, he went in the hole. He didn't have to blow it up. There we go. Uh, when you kill the leader, the other three die off if you haven't killed them. And it looks like they all die inside of caves. There are secret caves inside this entire mountainside. Um, but I'm just not going to deal with it. The cool thing about this certain gem is that you can just do this. You can actually even do that for the boss on the inside as well, so, yeah, that's cool. Ow. Oh. I'm just gonna run in a circle, see how many times I hit him. That was... Wow, um... How'd I do this one so much faster? Because before it took me like 20 minutes. This is weird. Or not this, but just me being a weirdo. I am the Knight of Hyrule, charged with guiding the Red Royal Jew. 
Here now, the doom of the night, we are bested by a foe with a mighty weapon. He cast us in the dark world, where we and the jewels were lost in shadow, just like me. The Tower of Winds vanished, and I, no, we, the servants of the crown, were turned into monsters. The man that defeated us was also the same man who created the shadowy imp. The imp from a, a, a school kid, yay! Your dark twin was a bad guy. I wonder where the fiend got the power. It matters not. None of it allows me to aid Zelda. Yet I can't go on. Brave ones, I entrust the red jewel to you. You now possess three of them. Obtain the fourth and bring light to the realm of the heavens. One thing I like about this is that the jewels do retain their original shape from Minish Cap. But you don't get them in the same order. Because um, in Minish Cap... You get the uh, earth gem, the fire gem, the water ice gem, and then the uh, and then the wind gem. So it's a uh, purple, red, blue, green. But here you're just getting it in a slack jaw order. So I find that kind of weird. Huh? That's weird. That's weird. Um. Well. That wasn't nearly as long as a level as I thought it was going to be. I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> Not as long to upload. Cool. Yeah, this isn't one of the longer levels, unless something got cut out on accident. I don't know. I guess I wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So guys, next time on more Let's Play Legends of the Four Swords Adventures, we will continue our way through the Desert of Doubt and get through the Desert Temple... What I've heard people say is the easiest portion, the easiest quotation mark temple in the game. So see you guys then. Goodbye.